Hello, this is Fitzam. Hey, Dashay, how you doing? My name is Fitzam Abraha. I'm the senior property manager here at Yasa Terrace with Seattle Housing Authority. So we are in the middle of a phase two project right now where um, we have uh, identified 139 units in the community that will be relocating uh, based on their personal preferences. And so uh, people are choosing uh, a variety of relocation options. Some are deciding to remain on site. Uh, some are choosing to go to other units that Seattle Housing Authority owns. And some are deciding to use a, a Section 8 voucher or tenant protection voucher. We interviewed Amelia, a Yesler Terrace resident who has been living here for two years. I like Yasla because it's in in an open place. There's so many background uh, of water and the city, and also I like the backyard. It's really huge if kids are playing at evening, and we have so many parks around here. I will miss the neighbors, and I will miss the hair. I don't know where I'm going if I will have this open place and this kind of housing. I like having my own backyard. I can plant anything I want or use it for just uh, relaxing around. If the situation has to change, I will probably change as well. Because the reason why I would love to come back, it's more what I have now. But I don't think I would love to come back in a tall tower and stuff now. I think I'm happy about the re redevelopment, not because I don't like where I'm living, but I'm hoping for the change of what's going on, people smoking around and roaming around. I hope that it will change because the more other people come and more other business, they'll pay attention to more security and what people do around. I think it's, to me, it's more about the mixed residency because maybe it will, it will change the stereotype people have about Yasla of uh, saying that it's a ghetto place. Maybe it will change the concept of people thinking negative thing about Yasla. I would love to see uh, the, the parks where children play change. What I mean by that, not by developing them, but by people not coming from outside and smoking weed when kids are just there. So I hope that will change, and that's what I'm looking forward to be changed. We asked Fitzum why some residents have moved out so soon and why some have not. It's hard to pinpoint the exact reasons. I think people have various preferences. I know some that want to move to other schools and they want to have the opportunity to move to a home nearby that school. Um, there are some residents who love the community, they want to remain on site. Um, it's, it's really depending on the family's preference on what it is that they would like to have. Um, and, and it's very diverse. Um, with the current phase right now, people want different things. People, there's some that want to remain on site, there's some who want to move within part of the SHA housing stock, and then there's some who want to use a voucher and go to a different neighborhood or even a different state. Um, all those options are available to our residents and they're exercising that choice um, depending on their needs. Out of all of the residents that have moved out, Liban Ahmed is of particular interest because he leaves behind something much more than a place to live. I have, I'm married, I have five kids, and I live in Yeslin Terrace. It, and the last 14 years, it was very beautiful. You feel tranquility, you feel peacefulness, and there is a lot of diversity around, so it is one of the most beautiful places to live. Hopefully, if the circumstance will allow us, hopefully we'll come back. But the diversity we have now, I don't think we will have it because of modernity and a lot of people are leaving, so hopefully we'll come back, hopefully. We are already moving and we moved to Rainia Vista. It was a decision with me and my wife and just we decided and then it's a beautiful place also and then we'll just the reality came and we were told just move and then we have to, we did our own research and we did realize later on that Rainier Vista is a cool place to live. Well, 
It is a stressful because we lived here for 14 years, to, especially to the little ones. And uh, the sign of stress is crystal clear. They are writing on the walls, we're going to miss here and stuff like that. So it will be tough to adjust to that new environment. And in life, there is no permanent condition, but these houses are old. And uh, I do understand with modernity and uh, life has to be improved. So, and in a way, it is, it is a good idea because the houses are old. And when it, comes to mod uh, when it comes to 21st century, these houses need to be upgraded. So we don't have anything else, but the reality is knocking the door and it's time for modernity. Yeah. So what's in store for the residents is our question. Will they receive what they need? One thing is for sure though, no matter what results of this major change, the face of Seattle will be changed forever. <laughs>